Hi, Dr. Chris Doherty here again. We're going to go over why I like a circumferential stitch versus a meniscal fixator device. So here we're looking at a very complex tear of the lateral meniscus. We've got a horizontal cleavage plane in our red-red zone. We've got two vertical splits in our red-white zone. And as we move over to the middle one-third, at the level of popliteal hiatus, we'll see another vertical split. With a circumferential stitch, I can reach all the way around this meniscus and compress all the tears. If I were to be using a meniscal fixator device, if I put one of those implants through that horizontal split, then I fail to actually close down the tear. Now, maybe it will heal if I get just part of the meniscus opposed, but if I can get the entire meniscal tear reduced, then I have a much better chance of healing. So you can see we've passed that first posterior stitch. Now we're moving slightly more anterior towards a popliteal tendon. It's very difficult sometimes to get a grip on the meniscus, so you just have to be patient to make sure that you don't spit that meniscus like a watermelon seed from those jaws so you can get an accurate pass. And yes, I am close to the tear margins, but I can still get excellent compression of this tear. So after I've secured the knots, you can see that other vertical split I talked about here. We've got a nice repair posteriorly as we start moving anteriorly. I've got an additional anterior stitch already placed, and here's a problem site because I can't get the upper jaw into position. So what I do here is I invert the device. So I've got my lower jaw going over the top of the meniscus, my upper jaw going down over the slope of the tibia. This allows me to pass over the meniscus posteriorly down into that jaw, especially in tight areas. This can be advantageous because you're able to take advantage of the slope of the proximal tibia to get your upper jaw lower and more deep, if you will, over the meniscus. So you can see the only difference here is now my loop's on top and my knot's going to be underneath, and I just tie this in standard fashion. I get an excellent approximation of this complex lateral meniscus tear. So once we've got our knot secured, we use the knot pusher suture cutter to cut our tails, and I just cut them one at a time. I don't come back off. I'll just cut the post limb, then I'll cut the other limb. So you can see we have a nice anatomic repair of a complex tear of our lateral meniscus, and that's why I prefer a circumferential stitch versus a meniscal fixator type device.